and just say, just say, okay. But again, it's not going to record you. I'm going to mute y'all. All right. So let's just remember, hey, Andy. Hey, Jeanette. Hi, Robin. So we'll just remember our Pilates basics, which is, right, you got to stand up nice and tall, pretend like there's a helium balloon attached to your head and you're growing, growing, growing tall. You can even put your fingers on your head and push your head away from your body. So push into your fingers and grow tall and squeeze your butt and then breathe that way. And then while you're doing this, you pull your apples in right towards your spine, always engaging the deep lower abs, right? Just a reminder, always, always, always. So let's just start and see if we get to some arms, right? So we're gonna start with a hundred. You're gonna roll down, knees into the chest, extend your arms out to the wall in front of your hands. Feet go to the ceiling, and then you drop your legs as much as you can without your pelvis tilting or your back popping up off the mat. You're gonna roll up, look at your knees, inhale for five and exhale for five. Inhale, four, five, exhale. Squeeze your legs together and exhale. Inhale, good, exhale. Four, exhale. Reach out with those toes and exhale. Reach out through your head and exhale. I think this is eight. Exhale. Nine. Exhale. Ten. Exhale. Then bend your knees in and roll your head down. Put your hands behind your thighs and roll up for a roll down. So your feet are fist width apart. Your knees are fist width apart, right? Your feet are flat on the ground. Your arms go out in front of you. In this position, let's just roll our shoulders up into our ears and then let them glide down your back. Keep them that way. Do not let them come up in your ears. You're gonna pull your apples in and roll down one vertebra at a time until you think you can't get back up, but you know you can, right? So as far as you can, and then come back up. And when you come back up, you're still in a C curve, right? Inhale back, I'm gonna watch. And exhale. And inhale back. And what you're trying to do when you're rolling back is you're trying to get your pelvis like flat on the floor, you know what I mean? And then come back up. Right? Inhale back. Rotating in the hips and really tucking your tailbone up. And then roll back up. Do one more of those. I'm going to turn on my little fan. And then you're going to roll all the way down. Grab your TheraBand. Yeah. Put that TheraBand around one foot. Extend that foot to the ceiling. All different colors of TheraBands. It's so pretty. This image I have here, <laughs> that's really pretty. It's a rainbow. All right, so the leg that's bent, extend that flat on the floor. Really push that heel on the floor into the mat. Extend out long through your head. So you're elongating your spine, even though you're lying down. You're gonna really reach out through the heel to the ceiling. You're elongating everything. Now I wanna just bend and straighten this leg three times. Bend and straighten and push your heel towards the ceiling when you straighten. Inhale. Push your healing to heal, right? And push the heel down in the mat. And of course you're pulling your apples in. Now you're gonna point to your toe and flex at the ankle, just point and flex. Point, reach out and flex. Now we're gonna do circles just with the foot. So little circles using the ankle. Don't move your leg, just, just circle your ankle around. And then the other way. Now take the baby toe side of your foot and supinate it over the top of your foot. So you're turning your foot sideways. Your big toe should be pointing towards your face. Your little toe should be pointing towards the ceiling. In this position, you're gonna really stick that hip down in the mat. Don't let that hip come up and bring your leg across your body. Just a little bit. So the other way, oh no, no, sorry. I was gonna say the other way, Annie, but you're doing it right. I can, your black tight tights were confusing my eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
Because you have a black mat. I'm like, what way is she going? It's all good. And then take that leg and go out to the side. Yes, now I can tell. And even so, even here, you're sticking your heel down in the mat, right? You're growing tall. It's not a passive stretch. You're reaching that heel, the leg that's out to the side. You're reaching that heel out, right? Now come back to the center. We're going to do leg circles. So point that toe towards the opposite ear, right? Go down and around. So it's up towards the ear, down and around. <sighs> Try not to move your body at all. Really stick that heel into the mat. And you can make them smaller than that, Andy. Make them a little bit smaller so they're not quite out as far. They're more across and up. Across and over. <sighs> and across and over and reverse it the other way. So it's down, straight down, across and up. And the only reason I say that is because it's a joint thing, right? That would be good for everybody because everybody's pretty limber, but you don't want to really overdo it with the, you know, the circles. Now, you're going to bend that knee in, hug it to your chest. Really bend at the hip crease, feel that crease. Take your opposite hand onto that knee and twist your body around towards that hand. And you can extend out the other arm straight, just whatever feels good in this nice twist. This, this you're just letting everything go. This is an actual passive stretch. Joseph Pilates wanted everything to stay in the box of the body, which is just outside your peripheral, inside your peripheral vision so that you can keep your joints safe when you're moving. So that's like a Joseph Pilates thing. And then rotate back and switch your feet. So, put, oh, here's my little baby. Here's my little puppy, my Pilates pup. So put that there band around the other foot, extend the other one long, push the heel into the mat, push that heel up towards the ceiling, push your head out towards the wall, right? Bend and straighten three times, bend and straighten, bend and reach out through the heel. Yes, enjoy it. Bend and straighten, reach. Now point and flex, just the foot. And little circles, little circles with just the foot. Don't move the leg at all, right? And then the other way. And you can really use your toes in this. Go through your toes, articulate your toes. And then you're gonna take the baby side toe, baby side, baby toe side, you know what I'm saying? And supinate it over, so bend it over towards, over the top. And then bring that leg across. Really stick the hip that's in the ground, stick it. And only go across to where that nerve, this is a nerve stretch, to where it's like, ooh, okay, that's, that's enough. I don't want you to overstretch a nerve, right? This is your sciatic nerve, by the way. And really make sure that your big toe is, is going towards your head. So it's not pointing towards the ceiling. It's going towards your face. And then you're going to go out the other way. Enjoy. And then come back to the center and we'll do our circles. So big toe towards opposite ear. So you go across first, down, around, and up. Across first, down and round and up. And plus, when you're doing smaller circles, your hips aren't mm, more likely to be wiggling around, you know, because you really want to keep your sacrum stuck to the floor. Now we're going to reverse the circle. So you go down, across, and up, down, across, and up. Inhale, just one more. And bend your knee in and hug, hug, hug. Folding at the hip, crease. <laughs> the baby's just going to watch. And take your opposite hand to that knee. Bring that knee across your body. Extend the other arm out behind you. And just breathing here. It's important to breathe, right, guys? Just hanging out here. I don't know what my dog's going to do. Okay, unfurl. Put the TheraBand aside. You can put your hands behind your thighs and roll up. 
We're rolling like a ball. Now you take your hands, you put them down by your thighs and you push your body up towards your feet so that your feet are tucked up towards your tushy, right? So they're really super tucked and you're at the front of your mat. You put your hands around your shins, squeeze your heels together. You're gonna roll up and just balance on your sit bones. In this position, I want you to really think about rounding your back. So again, we use this image a lot. So let's pretend that your pubic bone has an arrow on it, sticking straight on the ground, right? I want you to try to get that arrow up the wall in front of you. So you're really pulling in your apples and you're really curling your pelvis. You have to keep it like this or else you're gonna flop down because we're gonna do rolling like a ball. You're gonna stay like this. You do not move. You rolled back and then up and hold in the same position. Back and then up and hold and back and up and hold. Keep going, I'm watching. And back, good, 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 good. And up and back and hold. Good, keep going, good. Robin, so your knees are about a hip, they're in front of your shoulders. So they're about a fist width apart, your knees. Yeah, so widen them a little bit. There you go, there you go. I think they might've been, I just, again, with the camera. And then you're going to roll all the way down, right? We're gonna do a series of five. Yay! Maybe use the TheraBand a little bit. Let's see what, what happens. So one knee into your chest, the other knee into your chest. Both hands around one knee. Or you can spread your arms like we do sometimes, the outside hands on the ankle, the inside hands on the knee, and they switch. But if you're just new, you can put both hands around your knees. Roll up, look at that knee. Reach out through your head and roll up. If this hurts your neck, you can put your neck down. You're gonna uh, put your leg out on the diagonal and switch, switch, switch. Now, when you're in with the knee, pull it in towards your body, in towards your body, right? So it's an arm workout too, in. And you're trying to keep your legs close together so they sort of slide on each other. Yeah, beautiful. They're sliding against each other. Yes, everyone looks great. Jeanette, look at your knees. Yeah, good, good. Perfect, keep going. And last one, both knees into your chest and roll down. In this position, hug your knees into your chest, get a little lower back stretch. Bring your head to the right, bring your head to the left, go center, put your legs down, your feet down, they're bent. So what's on the mat? Take note, just regular, just relax. What's on the mat? The back of your head, your shoulder blades, the pointy part of your shoulder blades, and your sacrum, the flat part of your pelvis. Keep that the way it is. Don't roll up and let your stomach stick out in your back arch, right? Keep that in mind the whole time we're doing all of these things. One knee into your chest, the other knee into your chest, roll up, look at your knees. You're gonna squeeze your legs together, both the legs and the arms come out at the same time. And then you circle back around and grab your legs. Inhale out, squeeze your legs together. Don't let your body go up and down. Your body stays in the same place. Inhale and exhale. Good, 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 perfect. Inhale, we'll speed it up. Inhale. Inhale, pull your apples in when your legs are out, right? Inhale, inhale. One more. Put your feet down and your head down. We're gonna do a little shoulder bridgey. All right, so, so your knees are fist width apart, your feet are fist width apart. Your arms are down by your side. You're growing tall out of your head, right? Always, 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 even on the ground. I want you to think about that arrow of your tailbone and your pubic bone pointing towards the wall in front of you. Now I want you to make that arrow go up the wall by tilting your pelvis and really tucking in your apples and rolling up your pelvis one vertebra at a time. Notice, are your legs splaying out a little bit? Don't, let them keep them straight. Mine always wanted to fall out to the side. Roll up until you're like in a plank position. Beautiful, gorgeous. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. All three, lovely. In this position, in your head, pull your feet towards your booty in your head, unless you tend to get cramps by doing that. Push your hands into the floor. Wow, that changes stuff. 
and then roll down one vertebra at a time, starting with the top and then through your shoulder blades and then down your back. And then let your pelvis tilt back to neutral position. You see you're articulating your spine, right? One more time, roll up, squeeze your booty. Stay up here, pull your legs in and roll down one vertebra at a time. Let's do two more of those. Inhale, roll up, push into your hands. Wide collarbones, right? You guys look great. None of you have problem with that. I do. Roll back one vertebra at a time, starting in between your shoulder blades. Let it hit the mat one vertebra at a time. Really squeeze your bottom when you're coming down and roll down. Nice. All right. One knee into your chest. One knee into your chest. Extend your leg out to the ceiling. The other leg out to the ceiling. Roll up. Look at your knees. Scissor your legs apart slightly. Put your hands behind one thigh, both hands behind one thigh. You're gonna scissor. So you're gonna pulse, pulse and switch. And pulse, pulse and switch. Now, if you want to, Robin McDonald, cause you're stretchy. Oh, everybody is. You can pull up here, but only if that doesn't lift, you know, your pelvis off. There you go. Nice, nice. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at y'all. Exhale. So again, you're pulling your leg forward for that nice stretch. You're reaching your head up and in. And one more like that. Feet together, knees down. Good, good, good. Oh my goodness, that looked amazing. Okay, so we're gonna use the TheraBand for this one. You're gonna put the TheraBand around both y'all feet. Make sure it's not gonna pop off in your face. We're just gonna lower and lift our legs with our head up. So you're gonna roll up, look at your knees, straight legs. You're gonna lower and then come back up. Now you lower until you feel like you can't keep your pelvis flat, right? In other words, you don't want your back arching. You wanna feel the bones of that flat part of your sacrum and down as low as you can and then up. It's so much easier with the TheraBand, isn't it? It's almost like cheating but you get your, th your uh, form down really well because you're squeezing your legs. You're still reaching out with your feet. <sighs> One more. And bend your knees in. Shall I be mean? Yeah, maybe I'll be mean. All right, so <laughs> roll up, look at your knees. Get a nice firm grip on your TheraBand and cinch up so that it's tight in this position. You're gonna extend your legs out long and then bend them in. <sighs> And long, again, if this hurts your neck, put your neck down. This is reformer mat. There's a whole other thing you can do on the mat that mimics the reformer. Squeeze your legs and it's really hard. And exhale, inhale and exhale, right? Squeeze in your apples. Let's do one more. And exhale and put your feet down. We won't do crisscross because we already did a whole bunch of stuff. All right. Put your hands behind your thighs, roll up, or roll up if you can roll up normally. I'm sure a lot of you can. Spine stretch forward. So your legs are a little bit wider than the mat. You're sitting up nice and tall. Again, helium balloon pulling your head up, right? Your arms are out in front of you, straight. Bring your shoulders up into your ears and then roll them back. And I just do this to remind you to keep your shoulders back. They never go in your ears, right? Except for mermaid, remember? So you're gonna bring your head forward. It rolls kind of down and then your neck and then your shoulders. And now your hands go forward, reaching beyond your feet and you're pulling your belly back like it's in a sling. So you don't collapse at your waist and then roll back up. Let's use the imagery of the magic book. So let's say your spine has 24 books stacked on each other, right? They're magic books and they're floating above each other. So when your arms are out like this, the first book is your head. The first book slides off the shelf and goes forward and then your neck slides off and it follows that book and then your shoulders and then your arms go forward and those books are sliding off the shelf going forward into a, dia into a line, straight line and then reach, reach, reach to infinity past your feet. And then they're gonna start stacking back on the shelf, starting with the lowest book on the shelf and the next, but they're still floating above each other, right? So they're never touching each other. 
And then you come up, last book on the shelf. One more time, roll down. Reach forward, let those books slide off one after another. Really pull your apples back. Reach, reach farther than you think you can reach and then roll back up. Nice. Let's try open leg rocker just because it's fun. So again, you're gonna put your hands down scoot yourself just a little bit to the forward, forward of the mat. You don't have to be at the very front. So this is another balancing exercise. You're gonna put your hands around your shins this way. Grab the sides, right? And now you're just gonna raise up one leg, balancing on your sit bones. Ooh, look how pretty everybody looks. And then down and then lift up the other leg. Nice. And remember your back is curved. It's not flat like this. It's not like this. That's even really hard to do. If you keep your back flat, notice, I mean, try with a flat back. That's super hard. So if you curve your back and bring this up, it distributes the weight, I think a little differently and then bring both legs up and you're still curving the back and you roll back to your shoulder blades and up and hold if you can. If you can't hold, just stay where you are. Good, good Robin, good, good. And just do a couple, just try to get up and hold. Perfect, perfect. It's okay if you don't, it's okay. It's a fun, fun exercise. Perfect, now put your feet down. That was awesome. I love to see that. So, saw. All right. So I can't again, roll like we back. Did. I can't roll back today a little bit because I'm a little dizzy. You know what, Robin? You're perfect. You look amazing. Your form is amazing. So do what you're doing. And you know how to take I just wanted you to know that's why I'm not. I figured I figured that something was going on. Yeah, I'm a little thing. Somebody but... doing something. You know, I know it's because it's something's weird. Yeah, take it's not yourself. bad, but right. No, don't don't push it at all. Do what you're doing. Because the form is amazing. It's so beautiful to see that. Right. And that's all I need to see. Seriously. Now, again, if this twist thing makes you dizzy, don't twist. So your arms are out by your side. Just go forward or something if the twisting makes you dizzy. Bring your shoulders up into your ears and then bring them back. In this position, really put your heels into the mat. Feel that mat. They're not, not active. They're active, these legs, right? And reach out with one hand towards the wall. Reach out towards the other wall, right? So you're extending your arms as long as you can. Reach up towards the ceiling. Wow. Just doing this, man. You could just stay here. And again, Ram, if you have to, just do this. Now, twist your body to one side, swoop your arm back, and roll towards your toe. I think if we do it slow, you might be able to do it. Roll up, open your chest while you're rolling up, and then center. So twist first, swoop your arm back, roll towards your foot, roll up one vertebra at a time. Now in this position, when you're open, 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 right? Open up your chest. Yes. <laughs> and then center. Woo. And then twist. Swoop your arm back. Roll towards your feet. Roll back up. Center. Don't let your feet move. Twist, swoop, roll down. So really plant your feet. Roll up and untwist. In other words, just take check this out for a minute because this is important because it it makes your hips do something different. If I twist and my feet move, see how that jockeys up like this? And I'm twisting this way. So my hip isn't staying flat. You want your feet to stay where they are. If I went like this way, see how my feet are moving? No, don't move your feet. Push them down in the mat. Don't move them when you twist. Twist, roll down. You already swooped, obviously. <sighs> roll back up. Don't let your feet move. And then twist one more on the other side. Twist. See that it really gets your hip and then roll down. It's a hip stretch and roll back up and center. You can also do it against a wall, which makes you or something that's st stable and you push into the wall while you're doing it. It's really crazy. All right. So corkscrew control. Yes. Roll down. Why don't we use our TheraBand just to be, because I've been mean. Let's not be mean anymore. Put your TheraBand around both feet. So your legs are squished together, right? So the corkscrew, what you do is you bring your feet towards your head. You roll around onto one side. Yes, your hip comes back off the mat. 
you go down, but not down totally far, and then over to the other side and then center. So it's the shape of a little teardrop, kind of. Then you go to the other side, down. I can't go down very far or else my pelvis starts doing wanky stuff. And then back up to your nose. So down the other side and then back up to your nose. And down the other side. Good. And squeeze your legs together so your feet don't move. Again, your heels do not come apart. They stay where they are, right? And center. And let's just do one more this way and then back. Now control is you squeeze your heels together. Let's see, your opposite arm would go out. So let's say I'm gonna drop my legs to the left. My right arm goes out straight so you don't, no, is that right? No, I'm wrong. Your, the arm of this way you're going goes out so you don't flop over, you'll see what I mean. Squeeze your legs, bring your legs down. Normally we have both legs out, but we're using the TheraBand, both arms, I mean. And then up, then switch hands, see what I'm doing? And then up, that's just so you don't fall over. And up and down and go down as far as you can in a straight line. This is obliques, right? Oh, it feels good to me. It might not to you. And, and then you can drop your TheraBand. We'll do a couple without the TheraBand just so you can see what I mean. So straight feet straight to the ceiling, arms straight out like a T. Squeeze your heels together, go to one side. See how when you have both arms out, it's infinitely easier to balance, but you have to use more muscles, right? When you're not using the TheraBand, it help, helps you a little bit and side to side. And in this too, you're pushing your hands down. Might as well get your arms working and then knees into your chest. Yes, roll up. We're gonna do a mer mermaid. And then we'll do some side legs. So you're gonna sit on your side. You can do this on your knees or sitting on your side. It's harder for me to do it sitting like this. Your arms are out straight. I'm doing the hard side first. Right, shoulders up and down. You're gonna take your, let's say your left hand, you're going left, you grab your left ankle, arm over your head and reach over. Reach, reach, wrap your ear. Reach for, the, man, some of you can go so far, it's amazing. And then reach for the wall and then back and you switch. So you go to the other side. Now this, your shoulder's going into your ear on this side, right? That's okay, that's good. And then center. And you can bow, wow. Robin, that's amazing the way you're stacked. And then wrap. And then reach. And then center. And then reach. And then wrap, good. And then center. I don't remember if we've done three, but we'll do another one. You only do three of these. And you're yawning your ribs, right, on the side that you're stretching. And then center, and then you switch to the other side, like so. Let's see, is this the bad side? Yeah, <laughs> I can barely sit up on this side, guys. That's how, that's how tight my hips are. See? Woo! All right, so out to the side. You're going to rotate straight across. Wrap your ear. Nice. Reach for the wall. And then straight and then go down to the floor. You can bend your elbow if you want to go farther or not. Oh, it feels good. And then center and then reach and wrap and reach and center. One down. Oh, reach. And then the last one, boom. Boom, yes, Ugh. nice, all right. Now let's do the stuff on our stomach and then we'll do the side legs. Okay, so stuff on your belly, roll around onto your belly. I'm gonna take my little mic off, put it on the side. Hopefully you can hear me. All right, so you can just take a nap, Pilates nap. Just let everything fall to the ground. All right, nothing's engaged. Now I want you to squeeze your legs together. Boom. All your toes are on the floor. So the top of your toes are on the floor, all 10 of them. And now you're going to put your hands under your forehead, right? Press your head against your hands and your hands up against your head, right? So it's like this. 
reach your head out towards the wall in front of you, reach your toes out towards the wall in back of you, pull your apples in up off the mat. So your deep lower abs are up off the mat. Of course, you know, your skin's still there, right? But whatever you can get up off the mat. So this is an exercise, pushing your hands into your head and your head in your hands and growing really tall and long and pulling in your apples. But we're gonna continue. So raise your elbows off the mat, then your forehead, then your nose, then your chin. Then your thoracic spine, the top of your spine bends, but that's it. And then roll down, reaching out. Again, apples in first, right? Elbows up, forehead up, nose up, chin up, shoulder blades, oh, squeezing together. Now reach out when you roll down. I'm watching this time. So roll up, forehead, nose, chin, raise those elbows up, off. Yes, 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 beautiful. Beautiful. I have a sneaking suspicion you can come back up, uh, come up a little higher and then roll down. I was talking to Jeanette. And you can stop. You can roll over because I'm gonna I'm going to use bro step. A lot of you have seen this already. And you're doing it perfectly, but just to reiterate, okay? Here's brosif. Of course you're bending your neck backwards, right? When you're coming up. But this part of your spine already, already has this nice curve. It's 12 vertebrae. That's the only thing you're trying to bring up off the mat is from like here to here. You're not going into any of this back part. So you're just trying to bend up like this through your thoracic spine. All right, so let's try one more. So you're on your belly. Not that you guys weren't doing this. Just a reminder. Hands on your forehead, right? Pull your apples in, reach out long. Elbows up off first, then your head, then your chin, then your chest. Yes, yes. Woo, beautiful, beautiful. Raise your elbows up. Raise your elbows up, Andy. There you go, beautiful. And then roll down one vertebra at a time, but grow tall when you're doing it. Nice, that was so good. All right, so you're up on your elbows. You have fists going into the ground. Again, your, just your thoracic spine is bent in this direction. You're going to kick your booty twice with one foot. Kick, kick, and down. Kick, kick, and down. That's all we're doing. Kick, kick, and down. Kick, kick, and down. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. And down. Keep going. Kick, kick, and down. I didn't have my mic on when I was explaining that. I hope you guys heard me. I think you did. Keep going. <laughs> And you can stop and Robin's dog is gonna get kicked in the face, which I always do. It wakes him up, it's good, it just wakes him up. All right, so you're gonna roll around onto your side. Your side is lined up against the back of your mat for side legs. I have to use this for my neck. Right? Nice, so put your head wherever it's gotta go to make your neck comfortable. You can put your arm up here, you can bring it up, you can do this. This hurts my neck way too much, so I gotta keep it down. Now, from being in the back, you bring your legs to the front. So you have this nice kind of a, I don't know, 45 degree angle thing, and your hands tucked up next to your chest. Raise your foot a couple of inches, flex it. Go forward for two and back, and forward for two and back. Forward and back, and you're really sticking this resting leg, this not resting, into the mat. Right, inhaling and exhaling. Keep going. And exhaling. Nice. Inhaling and exhaling. Over. And I lost count. So let's just say this is 10. And then you do point right over your arch that's on the floor. Barbie doll point if you get a cramp. And yes, little circles here. Again, you're really pushing this leg that's on the floor down and out. And you're reaching out with that foot that's doing the circles reverse. Keep going. Now you're gonna point up. Don't turn your leg out and flex down. Point up. So keep your foot parallel to the floor. Do not point your toes to the ceiling. It limits the way, unless you're really stretchy like most of you guys are, it limits the range of motion. And now you're going to flex and then point, reach out with that foot, reach out, elongate through your pelvis, right? Or through your hip socket, through your hip girdle. Keep going. 
Now we're going to do uh, side passe. So you're going to skim up your leg and point to your knee. Straighten your leg. Flex it. Now you are turned out here. See how high I go up here? And then you bring it down. Skim up. Huge difference in how much you can move, right? And flex down. Skim up your leg and flex. Now the opposite is you flex up and then you're gonna point down to your knee and skim down your leg. So flex up, point knee, skim down, flex up, point knee, skim down, bend your knees into a tabletop position. Squeeze your feet together and open up your knees in a clam and then down and open and down. It doesn't matter how open you can get. I don't get very open. Again, the hips. Again with the hips, guys, right? And four. Six. Let's do eight. Eight. Yes. Now we're going to line up back in the back of the mat like we were. Squeeze them legs together. Reach them out towards the wall and bring them up at the same time. Three times. And then down. And up and down, and up, keep them up. Raise the top foot up, one, two, three. Now the bottom foot goes down and up, one, two, three. Yay, take this top foot and put it on the floor. See, again, with the hips, some, some of you are doing it much straighter than I am. You can really plant your foot down, right? Now reach out with that bottom foot and do big leg circles. Three, as big as you can get them, seven, Nine, ten. Now reverse the circles. One, three, seven, and one more. Yay. And then we're going to put them back in the front. Hot potato. Let's just do three. So three bounces in the front, up, three bounces in the back, two bounces, and then two, and you'll catch on. So one, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. Two, one, two, up. One, two, up, one, one, and one. And this, I was turning out my hip. I mean, you can tell with the, the way you can move your leg up so much higher. So you're going to roll around onto your back for a stretch, a little pigeon. So take the leg that you worked, bend it over your knee, and bring that leg up as high as you can. You can push your knee away if you want. Just do what's comfortable, right? And hang out here for a moment. Ooh, that feels great. <laughs> and then roll around onto the other side. All right, so you're lined up against the back of the mat. Your feet go to the front of the mat. Get your nice base. Yes, raise the top leg up. Plant that bottom leg into the mat. Flex your foot. Go forward for two and back. And forward for two and back. Inhale and exhale. Good. <laughs> Keep going. Inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. And try to go back as far as you can without, you know, cocking yourself forward. It's hard. You got to keep yourself really stable. Now, point right over your arch, little circles. Yeah, I got to do a Barbie doll point or else I'm going to get a cramp. And then go the other way. So I'm pointing to the ball of my foot instead of my toes. Now you're going to point up and flex down. Right? This is not the turnout situation. That just gets your gluteus minimus. Right? It's a different muscle if you do it this way. Now you're going to flex up, point down. No, the other way, right? Point up, flex down. Whatever. <laughs> no, I think it's flex up. Point down, whatever the opposite way that we just did. It don't matter, you get in the workout. There we go. Now, side passe, right? So you're gonna slide up your leg to your knee, point to the ceiling, flex. I'll try to remember what we're doing this time. I just was so into it, you know? Get that endorphin rush and then I'm like, I don't know where I am. And then down, we're only gonna do three. So now you flex up and then you point to your knee and skim down, up. Point, skim down. Let's do one more. Up, point, 
skim down. Now let's do the tabletop situation and squeeze your feet together and then open up in the clam. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's eight. Now you're going to go back to the back of the mat. Squeeze your legs together. Raise them up three times. And then down. Two. And on this one, keep them up. And go top leg, top leg, top leg. Now bottom leg down and up, down and up, down and up. Take your top leg, put it over. Reach out with that bottom leg. Let's do 10 big leg circles. One, two. <laughs> My dog is so discouraged sitting there in the back. Poor baby. Six, seven. And then let's do the other way. I lost count, so we'll just do it the other way. Three, four. And then we're gonna put both feet in the front and we're gonna do the hot potato for three, down to two and then down to one. So three, one, two, three, up. One, two, three, up, two, one, two. One, two. Don't forget to breathe. One, one. Yay, roll around. Stretch yourself out. Do the pigeon. So the leg you worked, remember? Always the leg you worked bends in the front. And you can push that knee away. And then you're gonna put your foot down. You're gonna roll to sit up. You're gonna roll around onto all fours. You're going to walk towards your feet, lift your booty up. If you can't do this, it's fine, just stand up, but do it slowly. Slowly, 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 right? Oh, my toenail was busted. Okay, keep going. So we're gonna do a little weights. A little weight, so I'm gonna move my camera. All right. Everybody got their weights? Jeanette, you should weigh those sometime. Put it on a scale and just see how much those things weigh. I would be curious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're standing comfortably. I like to do Pilates position, which is heels together, toes apart. Can you see me? And then you can squeeze, 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 squeeze up the middle. You squeeze your butt, you pull in your apples. I want you to bring your arms straight out in front of you. Your shoulders are down. And then I want you to flip your, your hands up to the ceiling. You're just bending your arms in towards your ear and then out, in, out. You're not dropping your elbows. Right? You're keeping your elbows high and parallel to the floor, your, your, you know, triceps. Inhale. Now in Pilates, you inhale on the effort, which should be both ways, right? It's kind of a, a trick question, but I would say inhale, exhale. It's unlike weightlifting. One more, now go out, but you're still seeing yourself in your peripheral vision, right? So you're not straight out. You're slightly in front of that. Inhale, bending in, and exhale. Keep your arms, elbows up, right? Yeah, everybody's doing it right. Everybody's doing it beautifully. And exhale, inhale, and exhale. If you have to rest, you can rest. Squeeze your arms, uh, squeeze your legs together, sorry. And grow tall, pull your apples in. This isn't just the arms, right? This just isn't just arms. And then put your arms down. You're gonna lean forward slightly. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see me. Lean forward slightly, pull your apples in. You're gonna bring your arms in towards your ears and then straight back. Raise them as high as you can back and then just bend up the elbows and then back, right? Triceps. And back. 
and back and try to go as high as you can back and keeping your shoulders down right and your neck loose if you feel like your neck is getting involved just wiggle it back and forth just to make sure it's not and make sure your apples are pulled in i probably just let go of mine one more good now you're gonna take both weights put them behind your head carefully don't bonk your head right keep your elbows wide you're gonna go up and then down wide elbows up and then down. You can bring your elbows together. That's a different exercise, right? Just try it. Bring your elbows together. It gets a different muscle, right? Then if it's wide, I think you're squeezing your rhomboids more. You're squeezing between your shoulder blades more. If you bring it front, it's more of an arm exercise, it feels like to me. So let's give it an elevate. Go up. Make it fun. Go up on your tippy toes. Yes. Up and down. Up and down and that's enough of that let's do some salt and pepper your arms are straight out again your shoulders are not in your ears good for carpal tunnel salt and pepper salt and pepper you're just twisting your arms good for tendonitis if your elbows get involved if they're like oh you're like my elbows are hurting a little bit you soften your arms right you soften the bend in your arms And then you can stop that. Roll over. Going to do some, I forgot what they call this in weightlifting. Anyway, you will recognize it. So you're like this. You're going to come up and down and up. Flies. That's what they're called. Flies. And up. And when you're up, you squeeze your shoulder blades together. And squeeze. And squeeze. Keep going. One more. And then roll up one vertebra at a time. All right. So now, since let's see how much time we do. We have time. So you're going to open your legs a little bit. Open your feet. You're going to straighten your arms out, rotate to one side, and then lunge, and then come back. Oh, my ankle cracked. And lunge and come back. You can put this foot that's not lunging anywhere that makes it not go into your knee. So I have to straighten it a little. One more on, on this side and then center, go to the other side, make your feet whatever they gotta be and you're going to the other side with a lunge and then back and a lunge and then back. And just lunge as far down as you can. If it hurts your knees, just a baby lunge is good. And then back and then put your arms down. One more little thing and then we're done. So you're gonna take your hands above your head, roll down one vertebra at a time. Remember the book sliding off the shelf? Well, now they're gonna restack on the floor, right? And breathe. And now if you can touch the floor, that's great. If you can't, that's totally perfectly fine. I think all of you can though. Yeah, you can. <laughs> all right, so we're hanging out here for a minute. All the blood is rushing to your head, right? So be careful with that. Dropping. Go up really slow. So once you just roll up just to where your hands come off the floor so that you can rotate them in little circles, just letting their motion do the, you know, do the business. You're not really forcing anything. Your neck is just hanging there. Your head is just hanging. There's no tension in your neck whatsoever. Now do the circles the other way. And keep going. Now I'm going to really pull in my apples, really tilt my pelvis and roll up one vertebra at a time. Pulling in the apples. Take your time, take your time, take your time. Because the blood has got to go back down, right? Because it's been in your head for a moment. And now we're going to do a couple of Pilates breaths. Inhale, out to the side. Inhale. Good job, guys, man. This is a good one. And one more. And exhale. Think you're totally done. That was amazing. Yay. Yay, guys. Beautiful to watch. Awesome. If you have any comments or questions, unmute yourself. If not, good job. Wow. That was Thanks, amazing. guys. Have a great weekend. Bye. Thanks, Bon.
Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. All right.